congratulations on the win. First of all, I've got to ask, uh, how much weight do you cut to get down to 265? Pin pong, what day are we talking about? Well, how much was it yesterday? Pin pong, what time are you talking about? <laughs> if it was six in the morning, I only had six pounds ago. If it was last, the night before, maybe it was 15, maybe it was 16. Was it a rough cut? No, it was a beautiful cut, man. Best cut I've had that so far, actually. Cool. How'd you feel the fight went tonight? <sighs> Could have been better, you know? I improved, uh, but, you know, you, you always see it going better in your mind, you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta say, you don't look too happy up there. Yeah. Like I said, I, I saw it going better. Uh -huh. I saw it ending in a little more dramatic fashion. But if, uh, at this point in your career, is it not about just getting minutes in the cage with, like, decent guys and just sort of accumulating those minutes to get yeah, experience? Yeah, that. No? Uh, the last fight that I had in Jacksonville, that was the last Let's Accumulate Minutes fight. Okay. The fight, the fight from then on, or you know, from now on, um, from this fight moving forward, was all about painting my picture, you know. And I'm super excited about that because I don't know if you saw it, I was in my bag, you know. I didn't unleash mm -hmm. the full rep repertoire, but I feel like I was definitely in my bag, man. I just, you know, like I said, could have been a little bit better. Yeah. What did you think of the stoppage? I don't think he was too happy with it. He said he was defending. How did you feel? Do you think the referee was right to step in? Oh yeah, he was gone, and I was gone. I was only getting more mad. Okay. Your uh, Malki Kawa tweeted that this fight was nearly cancelled two hours ago. Yeah. What happened? You know, some people from my past coming to extort me, put me in crazy situations, try to take food out of my family's mouth, and um, just a lot, of, a lot of outside circumstances going on, man. I was breaking down in my, my bathroom before, before I even started the fight. You know, I was, I was in tears, trying to figure out how we're gonna, you know, how we're gonna function and if I could go on. So. It was just a lot of drama, man. People, like I said, trying to take advantage of of my situation. Is uh, the people you're referring to, is this related to the past controversy that's always linked to you? Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of past stuff, you know what I mean? Just coming back, like I said, trying to, um, trying to prey on me, man, you know? You guys know me by now. I would have jumped off a building, did some crazy T.O. stuff if I was that guy you always talking about. I'm not, never will be. I'm a good guy, been a good guy. Innocent man, always have been. And when people come back and they try to pray and take advantage of somebody that's, you know, coming back and redeeming and regaining, kind of, you know, messes with my head, you know, and especially because they sprung it on me, literally, you know, right in the middle of me going to fight for my life. It was just, it kind of messed with me. So, but we got it done though, you know, I'm unstoppable. Do, do you, was that intentional to spring it on you right before the fight? There is no telling, man. And uh, unlike those people, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do BS propaganda. I'm not gonna say somebody something that they're not if I don't completely know for sure. You know, I can only tell you from what I, what, what I know since you asked the question, you know, and uh, that was real life. I was almost out the fight. I would assume that at some point you felt that was behind you. So how hard is it to know that they can just apparently pop up and bring it back and bring it back to the headlines whenever they feel like it? You know, that's been my situation since the, since day one, bro, I've been an overachiever. I've been an accomplisher. I am the guy that consistently and constantly succeeds, and not in an easy place. I put myself in a very complicated and hard place repeatedly, over and over again, because I am better, I endure more, and because I have a family to feed just like everybody else. You know what I mean? And uh, since day one, being that guy, you know, people see that as an opportunity to attack me. I'm not a I'm not a super educated guy. I don't have a wealthy family that I come from that I can call upon for advice. I don't know much about lawyers. You know, I've had my best friends sue me, try to put me in situations and extort me for money, and all the way down the line because they can. You know, because the world is painting me as this guy and everybody wants to see me down, but knows it's nothing about it. And please go check out my page and everybody else's page for the, for real details. You know, to go find out who I am and, what, and how it goes down. Yeah, I saw, I saw the Instagram you post. You, you sort of sharing your side of the story. What yeah. is, what what made you put that out? Because so far it feels like you've been reluctant to talk about it too much. Because it's the truth. That's why I put it out. Unlike, uh, and this is this is something you guys would love to hear about. Unlike guys that do this right here, all I posted was evidence, other people's words, never my own. Because you would never believe me, and that was the problem. You know, um, the uh, the hate against me was so loud that you would have never believed me. 
you would have never, nobody would ever believe. I've been telling you the same thing literally from day one. From the very beginning, I've said the same exact thing. So now it's just a time to where I'm in a place that I've brought myself back, my family's safe, you know, I, uh, from being targeted. Uh, my, 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 my financial situation is not, my career is not, but my family is safe. So now I can start to <clears throat> actually put the truth out there so that my son, you know, I have a son, I have a daughter that carries my last name. And I need that name cleared because these, you know, my little brother is about to try to get into the NBA, the NFL. I need, I need them to have that name and be proud to wear that name and not be persecuted and not be talked about and not be brought down by that name because it's, it's not right. And that's why I'm doing it. With what happened today, obviously, I'm sure you can't get into too much details, but are you expecting that you're going to have to go back to court? Is that, what's, is that what was thrown at oh, you Oh, not for that issue, but I'm, I'm forever in court. Like I said, it's, it's more so people trying to take advantage of my situation. The fact that a judge will think that I'm a bad guy and just rule in their favor like they always do, not without investigating any, anything, without looking at the facts. So like I said, that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to put out the facts. And I, it wasn't even me. It was somebody else that uh, came to my aid. They were like, this is BS. So now I'm, I'm into it, you know, and I'm going to I'm going to spread the truth. And we're going to fight these guys and put and so that people will realize, like, hey, I, I need help, too. You know, I need the world to come to my aid. I'm I'm a black life. I'm any life. I'm a, I'm a somebody. And I deserve to fight. I deserve to be a contender. Do you think there's something, and last thing for me, do you think there's something to be said that people should perhaps learn in society that there is a thing as due process and there is a thing as being judged in the court of public opinion, which isn't necessarily fair? It is not, especially if you want your chance to, because everybody wants to be judged in the court of law by uh, a jury of their peers and have their chance, and I didn't get that. I got executed by Instagram. You know, I'm an innocent man that was never proven guilty never called guilty, never anything, never, not even close. And I was executed in the public. And uh, it took away all the opportunities for me to go chase my dreams, the thing that I worked two decades for, my yellow jacket in the NFL, my passion, my life, everything that I devoted my time for, this, the UFC, which I, I freaking love, you know? And that's why I guess I was in tears, man. They're trying to take away something. I stayed in, I've lived in a dorm for three years, brother. They're trying to take away, trying to take it away from me. Just because of an incident, because you can, because oh, Greg's uh, he's weak. He's not, he's not financially what he was. So we can attack him. Nobody's gonna be on his side. So we can attack him. We can take him. Let's hit him up for 800. Let's, you know. And that's that's the nature of people these days. And I want the world to see that and help. Thank you for sharing. God bless, brother. How do you push past that mentally right before a fight? I mean, I know, was it something that partially, I know your team is very, very close. Is it some of the words from them? Is it something in the inner strength? How do you push past that hours before going in what is already something very challenging for somebody, for anybody to go in there and do, but to, to push and, and face this? How do you get past that? Uh, positivity, brother. I've been doing it for six, seven, eight years. It's, it's very hard, you know, and to, I'm going to go on record and say, y'all have seen it. I've stayed positive. I've tried to be the best human I can be. Like my mom's taught, <clears throat> excuse me. My mom taught me how to be a good human being, man, and I've just been trying to do that. I've been trying to set examples for my kids and just keeping in mind, like, you know, I'm setting that, that example for kids coming up, like, uh, and uh, I got a fabulous agent, bro. I got a fabulous coach. I got, a, I, got, I got a fabulous team, man. They just, they, 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 they lift me up. They keep me focused. And I keep an iron will, man, because, you know, if I quit, my kids don't eat, just like everybody else's. You know, they're, they're, there's no difference. You know, we're all the same at the end of the day. Glad to see you be able to kind of smile when you're thinking about that. And I wonder if part of what this did took that moment away from you in this win, because I know you were upset with maybe your performance. You want to get a cleaner knockout. You want to get a little more fabulous knockout. But did this sort of take away the luster? And did you kind of wear this when, when it came time to actually celebrate your win? Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't me, man. It wasn't, it wasn't exciting. There was no dance, and it was like I was hurt. I was exhausted by the time I got in the ring. But like before I got in the ring, I couldn't do my little flip, like from crying and fucking trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. <laughs> and, uh, like I'm just, I was, I was exhausted, man. I'm just doing what I, doing what I can. You know what everybody, you know, like I'm not, you know, I don't want to make a big deal out of it because I know every, every single one of you guys have been through it. Like you just gotta do what you can. You gotta, you gotta keep going or they're gonna take everything.
And last one for me, I know you're dealing with a lot of things. I know some people, you might want to go right back in the gym just to kind of get focused and let your mind go. What is the next step? What is the immediate next thing that, that, that you're going to do after this night? We're going to fight again, man. Because if I stop fighting, they're going to win. If I quit, they're going to win. If I stop being positive, they're going to win. If I stop smiling, they're going to win. They're going to think that they can beat me. They're going to think that they can do whatever they want to, whoever they want, say whatever they want, and it, and it doesn't matter. So I refuse to quit. We're going to fight. I want to fight next week, and I'm, I'm unstoppable, man. And like I said, I went and lived in a dorm. I've been in hell for three years, brother. I worked at LA Fitness when I first did this. I was off, I, you know, millions go away after five years of no job. Nobody would hire me, nobody would help me for five years, brother. So I've been to hell, this is nothing. I'm gonna just keep fighting and I'm gonna keep smiling and I'm gonna keep delivering for my fans because they deserve it, they didn't do anything. So I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it for them like I promised them I would, like the Prince of War should.